What's going on guys, Dip and Diesel back. I just got to the shop and then I left because I noticed the skid steer was back at the shop so I'm able to lift my truck back up to put the coilovers in, which I'm hoping this is gonna be one of the last times when it's on flat ground. Uh, once I get it all done, I can put it on the lift and lift it up that way. But since I'm trying to get this thing rolled out of the shop here soon, um, I wanna get the correct hardware in the coilover mount. Before I was just using random bolts to hold it in because I knew I was gonna have to take them out and everything like that. So I wasn't worried about having the right um, hardware for the mounts, but I'm headed to the hardware store right now because I'm not sure how long the skid steer is gonna be at the shop for. And I wanna get this lift back up and put the coilovers back in as soon as possible. Don't tell me it's out of fuel. Hopefully it's gonna have it up. So I'm looking all around trying to find some ratchet straps because I'm going to need to put more ratchet straps on it because the track bar bracket that I made isn't going to work. The Pitman arm hits it, uh, hits the track bar, which I need some ratchet straps like this with these kind of ends. And all I can find is ones that go on uh, like trailers that hook inside the pocket, not like that. So I need to find two ratchet straps just like that before I can lift this thing up. And I hope the skid steer has enough diesel in it. That way I can lift it up without it running out. So the truck doesn't have to go up too high, probably like six or seven inches uh, to be able to fit this coil over in. But I found some straps in my own toolbox. So have the straps ready, got them crossed. That way it can keep the truck center. I think I'm ready to lift this thing up. I got my hardware ready to put in the top and I got the straps ready to stabilize it because if I don't, it will try to move one way or the other when I set this thing down since it doesn't have a sway bar to keep it centered. Let's hop back in this skid steer, lift it up, and hopefully we have enough diesel to get the job done. Just like that, the help of the Kubota, she is back on the ground, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so yesterday I got the coilovers back in the front of the truck with the help of the Kubota. I didn't show you much of that because you guys have already seen it on previous videos. But the main part of this video is going to be addressing the people that are saying your truck is squatted why is your truck squatted why is the front of the truck higher than the rear well today we have some sky jacker six inch lift leaf springs so with the stock block in the back of this truck with these sky jacker leaf springs it should lift the back up six inches if you didn't want to use the stock block and you just wanted to use these i think it'll give you like an inch and a half of a lift so you definitely want to use the stock block 
with this to get your six inches of lift in the rear. Now, this really is the proper way to get a lift. If you're gonna go ahead and keep the stock leaf springs and get a bigger block in the back or possibly stack blocks in the back, that is just not safe. You really wanna go with getting some Skyjacker um, lift leaf springs. And Skyjacker is pretty much one of the only retailers that sell lift leaf springs for these Dodge Rams, the, at least for the 2001 and the second gen. So you can't go wrong with getting a new leaf pack to replace a stock one instead of either having like a 10 inch block, which that's what I would have had to do to get it the same height as the front. I would have to do a massive block in the back. But since Skyjacker sent these leaf packs over for the build, we are going to install them. Now, a couple things to mention. If you are doing a lift in the back, you want to get bigger shocks, longer shocks to account for it. That is one thing that I still do have to get. I have to get different shocks because I can't use the stock ones on six inches of lift. New shocks, and then we're gonna have to do new sway bar end links because the stock ones right here that go down to my sway bar are not gonna be long enough. You wanna make sure that sway bar has long enough end links to work properly. Since these are gonna be coming off the pack brake bags, I'm gonna be putting them back on, but I'm gonna have to get different U-bolts because Originally, when I first put these airbags on, I wasn't planning on having to lift this big. So I went ahead and cut the U-bolts. And this leaf pack only has one, two, three, and then a big one on the bottom. So four total. And these come with one, two, three, four, and a big one on the bottom. So I highly doubt that those U-bolts are going to be long enough to work with these. So we will have to... Um, actually, I may even have to build a bigger pedestal for the bottom of these to account for the lift of these leaf springs. But we'll come back to another day. I'm going to take these bags off, but we will be putting them back on. Uh, pretty much everything on this truck that I've taken off is powder coated. So my whole lift and everything is going to get powder coated once I'm done. But, you know, cross members powder coated, MV4500 is powder coated in alien silver and illusion violet that's kind of the colors alien silver illusion violet and white um, i did all the parts in the engine bay illusion violet and white before i started doing alien silver so that's what the engine bay looks like um, i did powder coat that a while ago it came out super icy dude i freaking love that uh snow cone white color which is going to be going all the parts um are going to be going on my other second gen um this snow cone white color i still have to install these but yeah snow cone white looks dope but this truck is alien silver illusion violet and white so i have the back of the axle on uh jack stands tire moves freely i didn't want to lift it up too high but i need to get these out once they're all unbolted i can lift the truck up so let's go ahead and get to work installing these skyjacker six inch lift Leaf pack. There's a couple things that's nice about living without a rusty ass truck. It's everything just comes off super easy. <laughs> So here is the difference between the Skyjacker six inch lift leaf springs and the stock. This is two wheel drive guys. This is a two wheel drive uh, leaf spring setup, um, the stock one. And that is, it's for a four wheel drive, but they pretty much have the same mounting and everything. The frames are pretty much the same. Uh, so this should bolt in. And yeah, there's your look. I had to undo the fuel tank and slide it over so I was able to get the bolts out of here, which I don't know, it's right over there. And then also for the sway bar to get that out, because what I'm gonna do 
when I get new sway bar end links. If I can't find ones that are the right length, I'm gonna buy brand new ones like this. I'll probably cut it right here, and then I'll get some bar stock. Measure it out how high it needs to be, and then just weld in some bar stock, smooth it out, repowder coat it, and it'll be good as new. And I'll have a custom sway bar end link. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. Should be fairly easy. But everything else was pretty much straightforward. You know, taking it out of the back right there, super easy. A truck like this with absolutely no rust, even, you know, barely even any surface rust. Like, I wouldn't even call that surface rust um, compared to all these northern trucks that are just holes in the frame from it being so rusty. All the stuff that the leaf spring attaches to, I will probably wait because if I powder coat that and I need a bigger block or a smaller block, it's going to be a waste. So, I think when I go to powder coat the... I'm just thinking about this right now. Uh, when I go to powder coat the stuff on the front, when we actually get this truck out of here, we get it up on the lift right over here, and I actually take the front end back apart to powder coat all of the custom stuff that I've made for this, like the shock tower or the coil tower, um, the long arms. I'll clean up the axle and paint it. The front drive shaft needs to be powder coated. All of that stuff needs to be smoothed out and painted. Um, there's just a, still a ton of work to do on this, as you can see, <laughs> that fender didn't get wrapped yet. Um, I've been putting it off because I need to take this off when I go to wrap it, and I just haven't wanted to do that yet, but everything else is wrapped. Completely getting the back of this truck done, probably be multiple videos, but actually as I'm thinking about it, I'll, I'll probably go ahead and throw the leaf springs in here in this video. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take apart a couple more things that I need to take apart and then we can go ahead and lift this truck up to where it needs to be so I can slide these leaf springs in. All right, we got the leaf springs in. Everything is tightened up. Got the tires back on. It's looking really good. I think the back is still going to be a little bit lower than the front by a few inches, but we won't be able to see until we drop this jack down oh those are pretty stiff yeah it didn't drop at all i mean I guess there's no weight on the bag obviously but still made it look damn good though this is the amount of things i needed to get this truck lifted up with the skyjacker six inch lift leaf springs i only used actually two of these blocks i used these two but i needed four six ton you don't have to be six ton but that's just what we had four jack stands three regular jacks and a transmission jack for the fuel tank but we got the job done i'm gonna go ahead and clean the rest of this stuff up and probably head home because that definitely wore me out i've been here since like 7 30 this morning and it is now 2.30. So uh, we will catch up with you guys tomorrow and go over the progress that we made. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so that was the Skyjacker six inch lift leaf springs that I put on my 2001. The part number is D76. I totally forgot. I'll put it on the screen right here if you guys wanna check these out. It is a lot better to get lift leaf springs than doing, if I had to do this, I would probably have to make like a 12 inch block for the rear. And we are not going to be doing that. We're not going to have a big ass block in the back of the truck. The right way to do it was to go with the leaf springs and then see what kind of block we need, which I think what the plan is, is to keep the stock block. I think the stock block is right under five inches. Plan is to keep it like this. And then you guys know I have these pack brake airbags. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bigger pedestal for the bottom. And when I go ahead and install these, I want to install these all the way aired out. No air in it, so it's like this. And then attach it to the top, so it's going to stay down like this. It's still going to have room to move with a suspension. But when it's like this, and when I air it up, it will lift the rear about three inches. So that's where I'm going to get my extra height from if I want to lift the back up. Which, looking at it from the front, it looks pretty level. But if you're looking from the back, it does look like the back end is still a few inches off. So that is where I'm going to get my extra three inches of lift when I want to level the truck out. I think it's going to look totally fine the way that it is. 
I do like a little bit of a lean, but not like so much like before I installed these, how it was sitting like this. I think, I think the way it is, it is perfect. Um, but if I did want to lift it up another couple inches, I have the airbags to help me do that. So Skyjacker did send me these lift leaf springs to install on my truck and kind of give you guys a review of it. Um, when I first got them in the mail, there was no packaging. They're not going to package leaf springs that weigh like 80 pounds. So they came just the way that they are with shipping uh, label on it. Um, during shipping, it doesn't look like they got scratched or damaged. Um, one thing to note, I don't know if it's like this for all of them, but my paint job on the leaf springs wasn't the best. I don't really care because I might end up powder coating these anyway. So the paint job really didn't matter. Um, I had some spots on here. I think it's on the other side that where they painted these at, I think they painted them on a pallet because there's some parts on the other side or like right here where there's some pallet left over on it. You can easily chip it off, but as far as the paint job, nothing to complain about these leaf springs. They fit absolutely amazing. Um, this is a two wheel drive truck. These four wheel drive leaf springs worked on the two wheel drive truck. And I'm super happy that they have six inch lift. So I was able to get the backup. Getting the leaf springs in and out on a Southern truck, super easy, no rust whatsoever. On these leaf springs, they come with a wedge on the bottom um, at a specific degree. I'm not sure what the degree is, but it helps you keep correct pinion angle which it looks pretty good it doesn't look like it's going to be uh, pinching at all um i haven't measured it but i'm assuming that with the stock is pretty much flat this kicked it up this tiny bit so there's no binding in the drive shaft which is good um and everything worked with the stock setup the stock block work stock u-bolts work now that we are somewhat finished with the rear i still have to get some shocks and then make some longer sway bar um, and links, but other than that, the main part of the back is finally done. So let's go ahead and give you guys a look at the truck with the new leaf springs. So from this angle right here, it does look like the back of the truck is a little bit lower. It could just be an optical illusion, but I do think the back is lower than the front, but we'll take a look from the front over here in a minute. And uh, it looks pretty level, but I am super happy how this install came out. Took a little bit longer than I thought because I've never done this before. Like I said earlier in the video, we'll end up taking this whole thing apart and powder coating all of this stuff. And that way it doesn't look like this, you know. Most of the stuff on this truck is gonna be powder coated. We'll powder coat that stuff as well. As you can see right there, that's kind of where the pallet was sitting. And it has a little bit of the pallet on there. Um, but other than that, it has a good thick paint job for you guys that are in the, in the uh, north. Um, it'll keep it from rusting. But like I said, the paint job, you know, wasn't, wasn't the best but you know it doesn't really matter the leaf springs the quality of the leaf springs not the paint um is what really matters and there's that little wedge right here it's a little bit bigger right here and it goes to smaller so it keeps that good pinion angle up there might be ah, it still looks good but we'll go to the front So there's the front view. You know, it looks pretty damn good if I do say so myself. You know, my old truck was squatted just a tiny bit, kind of like this. It wasn't too squatted, maybe like an inch or inch and a half lower in the back. And I think that's kind of the same way um, this truck is right now. And uh, it is it is definitely coming together. It looks awesome. I can't wait to build the flatbed for it. There you go, guys. That is the Skyjacker six inch lift lease springs for the back of my 2001 Dodge Ram 2500 MB4500 swap, axle swap, coil over lift, four link in the front, um, whatever you want to describe my truck as, there it is. This truck was two wheel drive and now we are building it into a four wheel drive lifted monster. Not that big, but it's definitely, you know, a little bit of a challenge more than uh, my other trucks I've owned to get up into this thing. But, you know, <clears throat> this is the tallest truck that I have owned slash built. So uh, there you go. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the back of the lift on this thing. I know a ton of you guys were saying, you need to lift the back. Don't squat your truck. Well, 
there you go guys skyjack they're hooked it up i'll leave a link in the description below please go check them out um they do suspension lifts uh leaf springs steering stabilizers shocks the whole nine yards for your suspension go check out skyjacker and show them some support for helping support my channel and it helps me make these videos so thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more videos and we will check you guys in the next one dipping diesel out